And moving on to you, man. Uh, November 2nd, Long Beach, California. Bellator first pay-per-view, the rematch. I know you, you started training for it. How, how's everything feeling, man? How's everything looking? Everything's feeling good. Everything's looking good. You know, I got a few people coming in. Um, um, U.S. team member, Taekwondo team member, Michael Tang's coming in. Um, I got with Deron Wynn. Uh, might try to holler at John Reeder if he's healthy. Um, they're uh, some of my wrestlers. Um, you know, bring some jiu-jitsu guys in. You know, Leo, Leopoldo, Sorrell. You know, I, I'm just, you know, I, I like to work, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm just going to bring guys in. Just, you know, I like to improve at all my skills. So, kid boxing, boxing, you know, wrestling, grappling, conditioning. I'll be ready come fight time. Um, I'm going to punish a man, Newton. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to punish him. And I'm going to do him like I do the rest. I'm going to punish him and then hopefully, you know, stop him. I know some, I, I think that uh, I'm going to stop him. I'm just going to punch him in three rounds. So it's his choice. You know what I'm saying? And Mo, how, how important is it for you to not to fight angry, man? Because that's one of the things a lot of people have been kind of asking me, saying, you know, the hatred for him and being the fact that he is a, a guy that holds a victory over you. Can you control your emotions? Yeah, I control my emotions. It's, it's just business to me. It's, but the thing is that I'm going to punish him, you know. Um, you know, it's funny because, you know, I know what I did wrong in that fight, but I really didn't learn much from that fight. Only thing I learned is don't, don't load up, but I've been knowing that. Mm -hmm. and that's what got me in trouble. It was like your most hands were down. No, my hands were up. I was just loading up. But now, I, you know, now I'm, I'm under control more. I got Nate, Nathan Vasquez, Jeff Mayweather working with me. You know what I'm saying on stuff, and uh, I'm feeling good, man. I'm ready to go. Um, big big opportunity for all the Bellator fighters that's on the card. Um, in, in your opinion, what what would be considered a successful pay per view? Uh, I think the fact that they're having it right now is successful. Mm -hmm. and, and and they got the, the you know the people together to make it happen you know and uh, it's a good card it's a great solid card you know um, I think that all fight all the fights should be pretty good and uh, I don't know as far as numbers I don't know because pay per view numbers have been going down in MMA and been going up in boxing and in pro and in pro wrestling I really don't know the trends you know so I may got to do more research on that but mm -hmm. they were going down and to me it seems like they're going up. So who knows? MMA might be on the downside right now as far as pay-per-views because, you know, it's kind of, you know, there's so much MMA out there right now. But I'm just hoping that, you know, people tune in, which I know they will, but I'm hoping that there's a good number, you know, of people to tune in. So it, keep, keep this thing going. It, is this a still a show kind of thing, Mo? Do you want to put on a performance to still a show? Or is it all about getting that W? Uh, really, the way I fight, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I fight to finish. So, you know, that's just me. I don't try to still a show. I just try to fight to finish and, uh, and get that W and be in and out if I can, or punish you and then be in and out. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go for a second and ready, or 25 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Either one. But as far as still in the show, I want us all to shine, you know what I'm saying? Because if we, if we have five good fights in the card, then people will be enticed to buy more pay-per-views. Mm -hmm. And be, being that Emmanuel Newton is a guy that you fought before, and you, and you say you really didn't take nothing away from that fight, is, is the approach different more, or is it just... Like you said, correcting the things that you felt like you did wrong and, and having that approach for the fight. Uh, the approach is going to be the same. I mean, anything can change, you know. If the approach is going to be different, I had a bunch of different coaches, you know what I'm saying, and I really don't. I, I just added the coach, Nathan Vasquez, who kind of helps me put everything together, you know. But I got Jeff still around, you know. I got my people at train still around. So I ain't, ain't nothing changed, man. You know, I'm not the type of person to make drastic changes on nothing because I'm always training smart and I'm always training hard, so... Here's what it is. Coming off of two knockout wins, man, uh, can we expect much of the same? Or or is is it going to be something that where we can expect you to be a little more cautious because he is awkward? No, it's going to be the same because, you know, he's, he's awkward. But the thing is, he was only awkward because I was, cause I was, over, I was over, overly aggressive and I was holding up. That's about it. If, you know, before then, I was aggressive, not overly aggressive, and I wasn't really getting in touch with nothing. I was catching everything, and I was calm, but then I started getting, you know, I kind of fight with a little inner rage, you know what I'm saying, because I, I, I just want to, you know, fight, and I kind of got, you know, um, over, overly aggressive and loaded up, and that's what got me in trouble, you know, other than that, I can control that, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's, that comes with repetitions and more rounds of sparring. In, in your two defeats, man, Fajal and Emmanuel Newton, you, you was never able to rematch Fajal. Um, is it a situation where you want the Emmanuel Newton rematch 
more than a phase out? Would you like that for phase out uh, again? I would love to fight phase out again. Or, but the thing is that it didn't happen. So now I got a man Newton. So I'm gonna take care of a man Newton. But you never know what the future holds. You know what I'm saying? Uh, phase out could possibly happen again. You know, in Bellator, you never know what's gonna happen. For sure, man. Well, I appreciate the time, man. Anything you want to say before I let you go, bro? That's about it, man. Shout out to my boy uh, Kevin Newman, uh, Jeff Mayweather. You know, uh, my boy uh, Nate, uh, Nate Vasquez, Michael Hunter, and uh, Hasee Rockman Jr. For sure, man. Thanks, bro.